What's up guys, how you doing today? So today we are gonna go over this 2022 R7. Now these are the new basically R6s. However, they are a parallel twin now. They're not an inline four cylinder. So they only have two cylinders now. They don't make as much power. We're gonna find out today what these things are making because today we are going to do a full ECU flash and dyno tune on this bike. This thing is gorgeous. I do like the new looks of these things. I think they did a great job designing them. They're sharp looking bikes and uh, they're definitely more affordable than the, uh, than the R6s are. So currently he is running an SC project full exhaust. So what we're gonna do is we are going to test that SC project exhaust and the owner bought a Yoshimira exhaust. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it with the SC project exhaust, all right? We're gonna run it out. We're gonna see what kind of horsepower it does for a baseline. Then we're gonna swap the exhaust. We're gonna put the uh, Yoshimira exhaust on. Uh, and again, I will put that one on the screen as well so you can see what we're gonna compare today. So at least you can get an idea of baseline versus baseline. Now the tuning, we're going to do that with the Yoshimira. We're going to see what it does with, with that full exhaust. And uh, we'll, we'll tune that one all out. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do both tunes. But we'll see. We'll try. We'll see what happens. See if I'm feeling a little frisky today. I got the bike already warmed up. So we're going to get this thing set up. And we're going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and baseline it. So here is the baseline. It is running extremely rich. So look down here. This is our air fuel graph down here. This tells us how much, uh, how much air to fuel there is in the engine at any given point in time during the RPM versus TPS. With that being said, this is a full throttle pool, okay? So this is 100% throttle, wide open throttle. This is running extremely rich. We are at a 12.1 air fuel ratio, which means we have 12 parts of air to one part of fuel, which means we are running way too much fuel, not enough air, okay? We need more air down low, we need a lot more air. This is too rich. This has way too much fuel in the system. It is puking fuel in this system. All the way up here, seven grand, 7,200 RPM, we're at 1199. So to put that in consideration, like this is basically what we run nitrous or turbo bikes at. This kind of ratio is uh, around this, around 12, 11, eight or so roughly. So this bike is putting in a ton of fuel into the system that it doesn't need to be putting into the system. Um, it made 67 wheel horsepower with almost 46 foot pounds of torque, okay? What I think I'll do, I think I'll go ahead and tune this bike, okay, on the SC project. So it'll be really, really, really interesting to see. So we'll do a full tune on it. Then what I'll do is I'll remove the SC project. We'll install the Yoshimira exhaust. Once we swap those out, we'll re-baseline the bike. I'll put a stock map back in the bike and then I'll put the SC project map in it. So it'll be kind of cool to see that. We'll throw that in and then see what it looks like. And then we'll do a final tune on the Yoshi, on the uh, Yoshi exhaust, okay? So just to let you know, we will compare, we will go in depth for you guys so that you can see the actual comparison with a fully tuned bike versus a fully tuned bike. Same bike, two different exhausts, same day. So you're getting real data, okay? So let me go ahead and get to work. This is gonna take me a little bit and uh, I'll get back with you. We just got done tuning the bike. Let's see the results between the baseline and the final pools now uh, and we'll compare those two so that way you know how much you can get with a full SC project uh, driving around the street and then you'll know what it can do with a uh, full ECU flash and tune.
here is the final run over the baseline run. So the red graph is going to be the final and the blue graph is going to be the baseline. Now keep in mind, again, the blue line is a baseline with the SC project exhaust on it. And then the red line is the final tune with the SC project full exhaust on it, okay? And just so you can see, we have a nice clean air fuel. The red line is the uh, final tune, obviously. It's a nice clean air fuel, made it a little, little rich up top. I like to make them just a little bit richer up top uh, whenever I'm finalizing my tunes. Um, just to keep it safe and keep it consistent. So we picked up a peak versus peak. We picked up about three wheel horsepower and about two foot pounds of torque or so. Uh, about one and a half to two foot pounds of torque. So nothing super crazy on these bikes, which is exactly what I expected, to be honest with you, because there's really no restrictions in the ECU. There's just a handful of clean things to clean up, like the throttle response. That's going to be a biggie. That's a huge thing this guy's gonna notice on his takeaway whenever we uh, finish this all up. I guarantee you this is gonna be one of those bikes that he's gonna say it just drives so smooth. And that's primarily because we're fixing the air fuel ratio. Next, we are going to go ahead and remove this SC project exhaust. We're gonna go ahead and swap the Yoshi on. I'm gonna flash a stock map back into the bike so we can see what the Yoshi baseline is gonna be now uh, today. So. Stay with us, give me a little bit, we're gonna get this all swapped out. interesting if you look here the red is going to be the Yoshimira baseline and the blue is going to be the SC project now SC project had a better low end compared to the Yoshimira but the Yoshimira had a better top end than the SC project which is very interesting so the Yoshimira pulled about one horsepower more at peak. Now this is baseline versus baseline. And look at the air fuel. Yoshimira is just slightly leaner compared to SC project throughout basically the whole pool. It's a little bit leaner throughout the whole pool. So that kind of makes sense. Uh, the low end, that's very interesting to me. I did not expect that. I was expecting Yoshimira to actually have a little bit better lower end torque and lower end horsepower, but SC did. Now again, this is baseline versus baseline. Let me go ahead, let me do my magic and we'll get back to this and we'll start comparing final versus final. So the final results are in the 2022 R7 SC project versus the Yoshimira R77. Here are the numbers. So as you can tell, both air fuels are basically right on the money. There's really no major differences. They're all very, very identical. Uh, this thing tuned out really well. And here are the power numbers overall. The Yoshimira on this particular uh, R7, this Yoshimira made more power throughout the entire power band. Down low, we gain a good amount of torque here. It, this honestly could have been the way I stabbed it. So in other words, um, the SC project could have been more of a roll on. 
Uh, this was more of a stab. Uh, that's possible for this big jump, but no matter what, you can clearly see that there's a different, uh, definitely a, uh, a good little gap in torque and horsepower here at the lower end. Uh, and just to give you an idea, I've said this on other videos, but I'm gonna say it on this one also. What you really wanna measure is the actual rate of change. So for instance, if we're at 34 and 36 wheel, all in all, let's say that's about a third. So you multiply the difference by three. So let's say it's a two wheel difference. You multiply that by three, we're at 6% basically um, is how we're doing it. Um, so we're at basically a 6% rate of change. Now, usually anything 6% or more, it's a very noticeable difference. And again, I wanna stress, this is final tune versus final tune. This is not baseline versus baseline. This is the final versus the final. And again, as you can see, all the way through the power range, the Yoshimira holds pretty steady, making about one wheel more or so. Uh, about, yeah, about one, one wheel horsepower more and about uh, 0.7, about half a foot pound of torque here throughout the power bam. But the numbers don't lie. 71.52 horsepower with the Yoshimira, that was the final with 47.72 foot-pounds of torque. And then the SC project, we made 70 horsepower with 47.27 foot-pounds of torque, peak versus peak. And this is tune versus tune. So this is really cool, and I'm really glad I get to show this. So what this is, is this is how the bike came in. It had the SC project already installed on the bike, okay? so. The baseline is the red one. So that's exactly how the customer brought it to us with the SC project installed. We baselined it with the SC project. Uh, it ran real rich. We corrected all that, tweaked a few more things in the ECU, and we were able to pull 71.52 wheel out of it. Now, if you compare that, that's three, four, that's about four wheel up top. Again, we're around the seven to 8% rate of change uh, versus how the customer originally brought us the bike. So this thing should feel a ton better for the customer. On this bike, we're not talking about anything crazy as far as the numbers go. We get it. There's no real big restrictions in the ECUs like some of the Super Sport 1000s and uh, 750 and 600s have. However, there is still some room to grow with this. It does run very rich from the factory, it looks like, with both uh, exhausts, the Yoshimira and the SE Project, both of them installed without a flash, ran the bike very, very rich uh, in the heavier throttle settings. I would say around 50% or more, it ran very rich. Anything about less than 50%, it ran pretty lean. So we have kind of a crazy looking seesaw <laughs> uh, map, if you will. But anyways, the drivability is a lot better. It's a lot more cleaned up. The final tune is a lot more cleaned up, as you can clearly see in the graph and uh, this should be a lot of fun for the customer and this is also this yoshi mirror is definitely a little quieter although it still definitely is louder than stock it uh it sounds good actually i really like the way these parallel twins are starting to sound uh, the older ones not so much but the newer ones are starting to sound pretty good as always guys i really appreciate you if you could please leave a like comment subscribe to the channel if you could leave some feedback let me know what you guys are interested in if, and uh, what else i can show you and what else i can test for you i love doing this kind of stuff it's a lot of work but i appreciate the support i really do thank you again and i'll see you guys later